In this video, I'll introduce you to Dungeon Builders. A Dungeon Builder is responsible for building the layout of your dungeons. And you see that there is a default Dungeon Builders provided with Dungeon Architect. So this uh, is responsible for creating the, the layout of your dungeons. And you also have a configuration that the builder defines. And uh, changing these values would completely change the layout of your dungeon. So you get a different layout here. So you're not restricted to the uh, algorithm that is defined by Dungeon Architect. You can completely swap this out with your own implementation. So you can design uh, your own dungeons based on the logic that you specify. And to do that, you need to subclass from, uh, you need to subclass from the Dungeon Builder uh, class under the Dungeon Architect namespace. And be sure to also add execute in edit mode attribute and then it, two functions are called within the dungeon builder one for generating the layout and another for emitting the markers in the dungeon layout you are expected to populate your model and this is a model that you define yourself so if you're building your own dungeon it's better to define your own model that suits your the data structure for your dungeon and be sure to add that model as well in the dungeon object and then you have to emit the markers uh, based on the model that you specify here. And then if you want to use this custom builder that you have defined with your dungeon, just go to the dungeon object, dungeon object and uh, replace this dungeon builder script with your own implementation. So this dungeon builder, the grid dungeon builder that comes by default with dungeon architect also specifies, also has two more scripts, uh, the configuration script and the uh, model script that are specific to the builder. So if you are providing your own implementation, go ahead and remove these three scripts and provide uh, and add your own scripts. And Dungeon Architect would then build the, uh, would then build the layout based on what you specify in those scripts. So the advantage of this method is, is that since it's all modular, you just have to specify, when you specify the logic of the layout here, everything that comes afterwards is taken care of seamlessly. So the theming engine would automatically pick up uh, the pick up the markers that you specify, and uh, it will build your, it will build your scene. So you don't have to worry about the visuals because they're decoupled. The layout generation and the visuals are are different. So the theming engine would work despite uh, regardless of what dungeon builder you, you use here. 